Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Starting grid for the Australian Grand Prix however, the Spaniard says the direction the team took also made him more comfortable with the car over a lap. Both Zanes and teammate Charles Leclerc faded badly at the Saudi Arabian GP after competing for the hard tires had pitted. The team have spent the day since then investigating the issue and came to Melbourne with some possible fixes in terms of setup. They also opted not to bring any aero updates, which meant the SF23 was a stable platform from last race, and the team could more easily make direct comparisons to Jeddah, while still focusing on the setup. Ferrari had the second fastest car after Red in both Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, Bull in qualifying, while in Australia, it slipped to fourth in the pecking order, with Zane's fifth, and Leclerc seventh VV, definitely changed the car's setup and I hope that will pay off tomorrow. Sane stressed that he felt good in qualifying, despite the new setup in the car, the aim is to improve the car's race trim. Yes, I feel reasonably well, he said. I think we've made some good progress with my feel for the car. We've changed quite a bit, the setup, up and down from yesterday, trying to improve it mainly for the race. But actually the changes made me feel a little better over a lap. Too bad we couldn't prove it today because I lost a few tenths on the last lap in Sector 1, which would have cost me a top 3, which might have been a motivation boost for me and the team. Sainz acknowledged that it helped not having new aero parts on the car, which may have messed up the team's efforts to solve its problems we want to improve in the wind tunnel and in the car, he said. So we are currently experimenting and waiting to see the clear direction going forward. Regarding possible racing form, he said. A big unknown, wishing tomorrow pays off. But I hope I can keep up the pace with the Astons and the Mercedes and fight with them.